Joining me now is one of the Texas Democrats who has yet to return to the state, State Representative Vicki Goodwin. Good to have you with us. So any plans to go home? Well, honestly, I, I am back home. I flew in last night. Oh, you did. <laughs> we were we didn't get that update before the interview. So thank you for letting us. So, so you decided to go home uh, and I'm guessing it's because of what changed. Exactly. With the temporary restraining order, I feel comfortable being back in my home and I'm, I'm happy to be here with my husband and my pets. Uh, and I'm sure they're happy to have you back. I know you, of course, went to D.C. You were looking for a little help. Uh, you actually met virtually, I know, with um, Representative uh, Ocasio-Cortez yesterday. What terms of help do you feel, if any, you got in Washington? You know, she gave us a lot of encouragement. She said she's going to do everything that she can to help. She encouraged us to keep doing what we're doing, to make phone calls and have meetings with um, senators and Congress people, and, and also to stay off the Texas House floor. So stay off the House floor, continue your calls, continue your meetings. Um, not a lot has changed, as I'm sure you've discovered, uh, since arriving home, even though you've only been there a short time. I mean, what, what are your options? Is, is that what you have in terms of moving forward, is staying off the House floor and just continuing to work the phones? Well, that and just, you know, letting the Republicans know that we're we're going to keep up this fight until we get some word from them that they're willing to work with us. That's all we want. We want some collaboration. During uh, the hearing that we had on the elections bill, we asked for a number of changes and they weren't willing to work with us at all. So until that happens, until we hear that they're willing to work with us, not just on elections, but on this crazy mask mandate or the banning of a mask mandate here, you know, already our schools are deciding, taking a really difficult step to um, say that they're going to mandate masks for the safety of the students and the teachers. So really what we're looking for is just some some reaching across the aisle from our Republican partners. So I do want to ask you about this mask specifically because you represent Austin in, in, in just a minute. But, uh, you know, sticking with the, the fact that you say you want to work more with your Republican colleagues, I mean, is there any indication that the will is there. Are you hearing anything? Have you reached out to any of them personally, perhaps with whom you have a relationship to try to move that forward? You know, so far we're not hearing that. Honestly, we, we have good, fair, tight elections already. We don't need an elections bill. What we need to focus on is COVID. We need to focus on our electrical grid here in Texas, and we need to restore funding for our legislature. Those are the three items that I'm willing to work on. I haven't heard other Republicans say that they'll put the election bills aside to work on what's really critical. So then it's just a status quo at this point? At this point, that's why I'm continuing to stay off the House floor and we're asking our Democratic colleagues to stay off the House floor until such a time as the Republicans will change their mind. Um, I do want to ask you before I let you go, you, you mentioned the mask mandate um, last night in Austin, obviously that vote to uh, mandate masks in schools, which goes against uh, the governor's ban. Where do you see that headed? I see the more school districts that go ahead and, and require masks in schools that other smaller school districts may follow. So far, um, Dallas has said that they are requiring masks. I've heard that um, Houston, Austin, and San Antonio are considering that move right now. So then maybe other districts will follow suit. Uh, you know, there's strength in numbers. We will be watching. Vicki, go and keep us, please keep us posted. Uh, any developments, appreciate it, and, and welcome home. Thank you.